has the Me Too movement got men talking with men about what it is to be a man? I'm not sure men are talking to men yet. I think men are looking at the Me Too movement going, what on earth is going on? What, is it, what does it mean to me? But I think it's also been an extraordinary thing because it has sparked, sparked conversation. It sparked, um, you know, around the Gillette ad recently, the, the whole world was having a, a, a conversation around masculinity. And, and I think that the hashtag Me Too movement has, has opened the doors to that. And, it's, and everyone sees what is behind those doors and now it's an open conversation we're all having. If not conversation with men themselves, do you think men are looking inward? There is some introspection there. I, I think, to be really honest, I think there's some fear, there's some worry about what does it mean for me, what does it mean for me in the workplace? You know, do I want to be in that room with that woman? Could that mean trouble for me? So so executives will minimise risk. Um, but I, I, th I think more broadly, it's, it's, getting me it's getting men to the point where we do start talking about it. Um, you know, I, I'd love to get to the point where if there's a barbecue and there's, there's eight guys standing around in a circle and one guy goes, check her out. And one other guy goes, you know what, perhaps that's not a good idea to say that. And I guarantee you there'll be other men in that group who will go, I didn't really feel great about that either. And suddenly the guy who's the dick, who's the guy, you know, expelled him to Siberia. And that, that would be a wonderful uh, position to get to, but it takes talking and it takes you know, ironically, one man being sort of brave and manly enough to stand up and say, I don't think this is right. The debates we've been having about Me Too and you cited the Gillette ad have seen this phrase, toxic masculinity, mm. into the wider lexicon. Mm. When does that start? Well, OK, I really, toxic masculinity is a really interesting thing to discuss because masculinity in itself is not toxic. There are aspects of masculinity that, that are toxic. And I, I'm wanting to talk about a, a model for a, a positive masculinity where, you know, we're not tough, strong, stoic. You know, we can be those things, but we also are open and communicative and caring and empathetic and, and we can accept love. And then we might not be killing ourselves at the rate of six men a day We not uh, in Australia and we might not be killing um, at least one woman a week with a domestic violence situation. So it's more than one woman a week at the moment, actually. And so how do we teach boys and young men those values? I think older men have a role, yes, not older men, senior men, men who have thought about this stuff, have a role in society to, to speak to younger men and to say, hey buddy, I'm not sure that that's the best way to actually go about that. Um, Tim Winton, the, the gorgeous you know, writer Tim Winton, um, did just a fantastic piece about surfing out the back of the break and he's, he's out there and there's some young 15 year old guys floating out there with him and the things that are coming out of their mouths are just absolutely disgraceful and he can't believe how did that get into such a young man you know they didn't think that themselves that came from somewhere so I think it's the role of men in society to minimize that information into young man's head and to counter it when we're able to. Now, I'd like to get your thoughts on a conversation mm. uh, that's hit the news this week involving the actor Liam Neeson. Mm. We have part of this conversation he had with a journalist to listen to now. Yeah. I went out deliberately into black areas in this city looking to be set upon so that I could unleash physical violence. And I did it for... I'd say maybe four or five times until I caught myself on. And it really shocked me, this primal urge I had. Now, Liam Neeson was talking there about the urge he had mm. to avenge a loved one's rape. Yeah. And if we take the element of race out, because he was searching Absolutely. for a specific mm. person because of who he believed mm. the perpetrator was, just talk mm. about for a moment his his desire to kill somebody. I, I think this is so interesting. I, I think three things about this. I think one, it's so interesting that he, he spoke up. Like, I can't believe a 66 year old movie actor just said that out loud. Like I was going to do, I was going to murder someone. So, so, he, and I think he's saying, if, if you look at the subtext of what he's saying, I think he's saying, I, that was terrible. I've moved forward. And so, so that's, part of a conversation and they've jumped on the bad bit and but I did see the rest of it and he's saying I can't believe that I thought that and it's a terrible thing now that's what he's actually saying. Number two, how interesting that the only outlet that he had was rage. Someone really close to him had been damaged terribly. He couldn't put his arm around her and say this is a terrible thing that's happened to you, let's get you healed, let's get you help. 
He wanted to go and kill somebody else. Like, what a terrible thing that says about what's, what's up in men's heads. The third thing is the idea and the sense that that woman was somehow his property, that, that something of his had been damaged and he was going to bloody well fix that up. Like, so so that, that's the three comments I would have by that. But the, the interesting part of it, I think, is how Liam Neeson has moved forward. Like, and I think that's what's interesting for all of us in life, and that's the conversation I'd like to start having, um, you know, like the conversation we're having right now, that, that you know, we're not set in stone. We need to think about these things. Hashtag Me Too has made us go, Ooh, OK, there's something really serious out there that men particularly need to address. There is an issue with masculinity and what it is, and there is a lack of positive masculinity, and that's what we're looking for now. Phil Barker, really interesting to get your thoughts today. Thanks no for problem. coming in.